Welcome back to the Combat Crack YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Conor McGregor denied having a staph infection ahead of his UFC 264 trilogy fight with Dustin Poirier. McGregor recently posted an image of himself with many fans noticing a reddish mark on his arm. When asked by a fan if it was a staph infection, the Irishman responded in typical fashion, no, just vicious brain-damaging elbows. UFC 264 takes place next Saturday in Las Vegas with McGregor and Poirier settling their rivalry in a rubber match. Lauren Murphy believes she can can find holes in UFC women's flyweight champion Valentina Shevchenko's game. Murphy recently defeated Joanne Calderwood via split decision to make it five wins in a row. She will likely face Shevchenko next and is confident she will be the first to inflict defeat on Shevchenko at 125 pounds. I really do believe in my coaches and they believe in me, Murphy said. I think we can find holes in Valentina's game and I think I'm strong enough to exploit them. I think I'm tough enough to get where I need to go with her. She hasn't faced anybody as tough as me. She hasn't faced anybody that can grind like I can grind. Seriously, I mean, look at my resume and look at my past fights. I have the biggest heart. I'm one of the toughest girls ever. Not just in the division, I'm one of the toughest girls ever. I'm the strongest girl in the division. I'm a huge flyweight, and I think my top game in jiu-jitsu is second to none. Former Strike Force champion and UFC middleweight title challenger Nate Marquardt is coming out of retirement. The 42-year-old will be competing at the upcoming August 6th Titan FC event in what will be his first fight since November 2017 when he suffered a split defeat to Cesar Ferreira. No opponent has been announced as of yet. It's 100% God, Marquardt said. Honestly, I've been sent here to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, and he's the only way to be saved, and our nation is in desperate need right now to turn back to the Lord. I believe that's the message God has for me, and I'm really excited to fight again. Former UFC and BKFC fighter Jason Knight has signed with the Professional Fighters League. That's according to multiple reports that state that Knight will make his debut on the upcoming PFL card taking place August 27th. Knight has been competing exclusively in bare-knuckle boxing the last few years, but did make his MMA return at Jorge Masvidal's Game Bread Fighting Championships where he submitted Charles Bennett in the first round. Thanks all for checking out the Combat Crack daily updates on Combat Sports. Sports.